What are you doing? We're going to go to World Breakfast all day soon. Don't you remember? Yeah. I know. Scooby, Scooby, <laughs> Scooby. So, Christina. Yeah? Can you still eat? Of course. Because, like, the portions here are pretty uh, big. They're western sized. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Cool. So uh, this month it's Russian food, right? Yeah. It is. It is. Have you ever had anything Russian? No. No, I have not. Actually, I think I've only had borscht once. The only thing Russian that I've ever had was vodka. Vodka. Okay, well, I guess I've had two things that are Russian. <laughs> oh my goodness. Take a look at this, guys. So we have mushrooms, beet Mushroom. salad. Yeah. Crepe. And then what's this? Uh, this is the soba. This this uh, ingredient is used to make soba. Uh -huh. And we cook with the milk and salt. And salt. Yeah. Mm. These are so good for you too. Well, I love mushrooms. Mm -hmm. This is Moore's. Yes. Cheers. Skills Cheers. So I know we're eating and everything, but um, what are you going to have for second breakfast? You mean third breakfast? Since I had my noodles. <laughs> and then this. I'll probably just have an onigiri. Mm. Okay. Like five. What about you? Well, I brought a homemade Subway. When you, what, what do you mean? <laughs> it's like this weird trend. Subway is a sandwich shop. And really, if you wanted to, you could totally make those sandwiches at home. Mm. So I think it started out as a joke, but, mm -hmm. you know, jokes escalate and become a trend. Like, Lebroni. Oh, Lebroni is actually funny. <laughs> I don't really think it's very clever. Like, Lebroni, to me, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The joke makes sense. In some ways, some way, it's like... <laughs> what? It just sounds like someone from the pro promotion team. Like, example, in Japan, KFC is associated with... Christmas, mm -hmm. and that was all just because of marketing, and now it's real. It took time, but now it's a thing. Anyways, that was just my thought. All that, now I'm gonna eat some beets. I wonder if they have kombucha here. Ew. You like it? Yeah. It tastes pretty good, and it's good for your system. Yeah, but it's just so gross. What do you mean? Kombucha is fermented tea. Yeah. And to make it like that, like you grow bacteria inside. So when you drink kombucha, you see like these little flakes floating in there. And that comes from SCOBY, which is also known as the mother. I think I've seen that before. Yeah. My ex used to make that and then hide it in the dark corner of the kitchen so it would grow bigger. Ew. <laughs> what I think is interesting is kombucha used to be a drink that hardcore hippies used to. Hippies, hipsters used to drink, you know? And then it became more of people who are health conscious. Like a national fad? Well, now it's, yeah, mainstream and there are places that actually produce kombucha mm. and sell it. That's interesting. So basically, if I want to find out what new trends are in going to hit the uh, the health industry or like anything related to health and fitness, I would just check out San Francisco and Portland. Mm -hmm. Hippies, all natural. <laughs> that was arm hair. <laughs> well, I guess I can't get kombucha here. No, I I think the only way to really get kombucha in Japan is to make it yourself. Do um, you think I can luck. make it in the listen office? <laughs> no. Um, but you can definitely get your hands on some homemade Subway because, uh, hey, <laughs> that's easy. And you can easily get your hands on some Russian food. Just make your way over to World Breakfast All Day. See you guys later. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.
It's my 